The Stanley Cup final is here. It's always the best time of the year. It's been a great season with Sizzle. The playoffs have been great, especially that first round. What a story Vegas and Florida have been. So I'm going right to it. I got Vegas in six. I think they're better in every category. And I think Aiden Hill is not going to play second fiddle to Bob. This idea about the check mark and check mark. Yeah, okay, maybe Bob has been better and had a better career. Aiden Hill's not playing second fiddle to anybody. He's anti Niemi, and Vegas will win the cup. And they're deep. The blue line, the forwards group, Craig, everybody slotted. And Bruce Cassidy. There, I'm starting high and hard, my friend. Okay, well, this episode of uh, of the Cool Button <laughs> Podcast is over. I fully agree with you. There's nothing more to talk about. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah, because I fully agree. I, the, the other thing, too, is four lines deep, and, and they're tough, and they're hard, and they're quick, and they're fast, and they, they're going to, like, Florida ain't pushing around the Vegas Golden Knights. So let's be clear here, right? And then you look at the blue line. Right? The blue line. I mean, we've talked about how good that blue line is. I mean, two number one defensemen. And, and you know, Shea Theodore, who, who, in my view, is a number one defenseman, you know, it has had some, some some nights where he hasn't been that 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 player that we expected to be. But Petrangelo has been. How good has Zach Whitecloud been for the Vegas Golden Knights? I mean, and, and we can go through. I mean, Braden McNabb. Like everybody talks about Radko Gudis. I, I hope you're watching Braden McNabb because Braden McNabb is going to make life miserable. And like that's the matchup that I want to see. Matthew Kachuk on the right wing, Braden McNabb playing left side D. Like, oh boy, is that going to be a battle? And keep in mind, they've had battles. They've had battles in the Western Conference. You know what the Stanley Cup final does? It shows a lot of people in the East, oh wow, where'd this Braden McNabb come from? Oh boy, he's pretty good. Oh, like you know, all of a sudden there's this, there's this there's this revelation. How, wow, Chandler Stevenson's a good player. Yeah, there's lots of good players in Vegas. And I agree with you about Aiden Hill. I think but when you think about the Vegas Golden Knights, just think about this. You know, they, they've had five goalies this year on, that, that have played for them, right? And, and, and the challenges they've had, and here they are in the Stanley Cup final. And they entered the league, Steve. They, their first season was 2017-2018. George McPhee, Kelly McCrimmon, Von Carpen, et al. Bill Foley. What a job. Outside of the teams that have won the Stanley Cup since Vegas entered the league, the most successful team in the league, and I think they'll win the Stanley Cup. I'm picking them to win the Stanley Cup this year. There could be an argument outside of Tampa Bay that they're the second best team since they entered the league. If they went in the Stanley Cup this year. The second best team in the league. Unbelievable what the Vegas have done. And continue to do. And they're bold. And they're saying, this is how we're going to do it. I, lo- I love the way they play. And I love Bruce Cassidy. Well, it still starts at the top. I mean, I, I, yeah. I want to compare it to Mike Gillitz in a certain way. It's a, the Red Wings were nothing. And they were giving away cars. He kept, got there in 82. It always starts at the top. It starts at the top in a business, in a company, in a family, in a relationship. Mike Gillitz changed the Red Wings. And it took longer than they wanted but we saw the plan. And even after they missed after five years, because they ran up against Gretzky and the Oilers, and then they retooled and got Fedorov. And then they went to Scotty Bowman and then to Mike Vernon finally. And he was able to do it in 1997. I mean, I have to say that if you stood up at a podium, like maybe in Nashville, and you said to everyone other than Washington, St. Louis, Tampa Bay, and Colorado, shame on you losers. Like, you losers watch these guys get born and win the cup in six years. And where have the seven Canadian teams been? Where have some of the other teams been? There's teams that haven't never won. 30 years from now, Craig, they won't have won. There's teams that haven't won in 20 years. 30 years from now, they might not win. 32 teams. And what Vegas says are all the things that you always complain about other teams saying. Vegas says nothing. They don't say how hard it is. They don't say how many issues they have. They don't say how the cap has gone up. They just make their moves. And this is a team with bold moves. They got Sabres, Eichel, Ottawa's, Stone, St. Louis, Petrangelo, Anaheim's, Theodore, a journeyman goalie, like Marcia So, not theirs. He scored 30 goals in Florida a few years ago, just so people know. Columbus's Carlson, Riley Smith, parts other 
no, unknown. Like it's just, it just keeps going. Chandler Stevenson, he's better here than he was in Washington. You know what I mean? So thumbs up to Foley, McCrimmon, and and really George. I mean, George built the Caps Cup. I give him credit for the Caps Cup. So this will be George's second help team building. And Vegas is no excuse. It's okay, they might not win. Maybe they won't win. Okay, if they don't, then they didn't win. But they are the better team. And Florida is going up again. Now I've put three teams in the mix for Florida. Which are they most like? Your 91 North Stars? The 93 Habs or the 2012 LA Kings. They're going to need a bit of all of those teams to kind of make it work. Because, Craig, I'm just fighting the odds a little bit here. They're 11-1 and one in the last 12. Bobrovsky's 8-0 oh in his last eight on the road. And they're 6-0 in overtime. If this first game goes into overtime and Vegas wins in overtime, that's going to be the shot across the bow, maybe, of the Florida Panthers. Um, I love them. They've done a great thing. If they can win four more games. They will have won the cup against teams that combined for 470 points. That blows away the old record. Boston, Carolina, Toronto, and Vegas, 470 points. That will be the greatest cup victory of competition ever. And I will shake their hands if it's done. But right now, me and you are on the Vegas baby train.